Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a video featuring some keycaps I found to be a great gateway to start a custom keyboard. I will point out that this is a sponsored video with Banggood as they have sent me these PPT Olivia keycaps but all opinions are my own and they're not reviewing this video prior to posting. So let's start off with a little bit of a background story into the keyboard scene as we used to have two main players in the keycap market. First one being GMK keycaps, which were arguably and still are arguably the nicest keycaps in the hobby at a fair MSRP. And then we had the EPPT keycaps, which are generally more accessible and they're definitely a lot cheaper. These two keycap manufacturers specializes in two different plastics. GMK utilizes a double shot ABS mold, while EPPT uses PPT molds with a die sub application for the legends. And as time passed, many manufacturers got into the pot and now we have multiple options to buy from. So today in this video, I want to compare how these new manufacturers compare to the old guard of the keycap market. And we are strictly looking into the cherry profile keycaps for this video. So on hand, we'll get the GMK WAB, an EPBT double shot ABS WAB, an Infinity Key Cafe keycap set, HK Gaming, and lastly, the sponsored Banggood Olivia keycaps. Now, starting off, let's compare the overall thickness of the keycaps, and looking at it, they're generally the same with no concerns on fitment. Now, moving forward with the Legends, starting off with the GMK keycap set, we can see that the Legends are pretty crisp and really fine, which is to be expected from a double shot ABS keycap. However, there are issues that can happen when creating double shot keycaps, which generally stems from the uniformity of the font of every Legend, and especially the modifiers. Now, looking at the EPBT double shot ABS keycaps, they are fairly close to the GMK quality, but not quite there. But remember, they are a middle ground in pricing compared to other double shot keycaps. So now moving forward with the Banggood keycaps. These are double shot, however, they are made of PPT. And it's been known that PPT is a harder material to work with when creating molds. And it's evident when we look at the uniformity of every legend in the keycap set, specifically the modifiers. It appears to seem like the modifiers have a different font compared to the rest. And there are some con inconsistencies with the four and five key. And just more on the modifiers, they look like they got some bubbly font, like Comic Sans. I don't know. Now, however, the rest of the keycaps look really good, and there are no concerns left with this keycap set. Moving forward with our dice up keycaps that we're showcasing here, we have to look at it in the perspective that no dice up keycap can ever look as sharp as a double shot keycap. But these manufacturers are getting a lot better, and it's getting pretty close. So when looking at dice up keycaps, the fonts can appear to be a little bit fuzzy when expected up close, but generally it's unnoticeable from a sitting distance and the Infinity Key keycaps are definitely not as crisp as GMK, but you can see that there are much better keycap solutions compared to the HK Gaming and the NK Milkshake. For the last test, we will look at how each of these keycaps sound in the respective keyboard. For any questions regarding the fitment of these keycaps, in theory, they should all be the same since they are all cherry profile keycaps. Unlike with all things, the price you are paying for an item is generally related to that saying of, you get what you paid for. So obviously the GMK and EPPT keycaps are generally nicer than the other keycaps in this video, but what you are sacrificing in quality is that you are getting a set of keycaps at almost half the price and they're very easily accessible. Now, I think this is a topic of controversy that comes down to a matter of ethics and morals. If we were to look at this from a morality perspective, it is wrong, plain and simple. However, the reality is that people are not willing to swallow the steep prices of some of these GMK keycap sets, and sets like the Banggood one help serve as a gateway for newcomers. You could then argue that it would benefit the creators in the long run, as more people will be exposed to this hobby and potentially then purchasing their sets. The issue is further amplified by the way the creators slash manufacturers run their keycap group buys. Starting from limited one-time drops, extremely long fulfillment times ranging from a year to even two years plus, and then the idea of spending your money without having anything in your possession in that time frame can be hard to justify. 
On a side note though, I do have to point out that I'm not blaming creators for doing this since this is very costly and not everyone is capable of running a 24-7 year-long group buy for people to join every now and then as we are all small creators in this space and we just have to take it as it is. Some things are out of our limits and we just can't do anything about it. So like many things in this hobby, you're only left with a few options. Join that round one group buy and wait patiently. Second, pay the resale price in the aftermarket after it releases so you can have that gratification that you'll be getting something in your hands within a couple of days after spending your hard earned money. And lastly, buy set inspired by the original credits from one of these manufacturers making the replica sets. And some argue that there is no difference in buying a replica set rather than a sculpt secondhand original as none of the money is going back to the original creator. Many people including myself would pay for the price for these GMK sets so we could actually get them. But it really just depends on when you join and when you start this hobby as some of these sets just never come back. Now to conclude, the keycap set from Banggood and keycaps from other places like H Gaming, they're actually honestly pretty good value and a great thing to have in this keyboard hobby. I know this is a very controversial topic, but let's face it, not everyone has the money to pay for the secondhand market prices and even joining those GMK keycap sets can be hard on the new hobbyists. So that is it for my video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, subscribe. And also if you guys are interested in the keycap set shown in the video, feel free to use my affiliate link down below to purchase the keycaps as it does help out the channel and keeps us going. Banga is also running a Boxing Day promotion up until December 31st. You can get that code down below as it is valid for site-wide purchases. Lastly, this is BBTX signing out. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your holidays. Peace.